Does MAGA know what Trump is really all about? I think it shows that um, Trump is like built different and like he, he's not doing this for the benefit. Like, like he was already a billionaire before, nice properties around the world. Like he's doing it because he cares about people. And I think, like you said, all the stuff he's going through shows it. Because like if I just wanted the power, if I just wanted the money or fame, like I, I, you know, any other politician would have dropped out like criminal cases, you know, all that. But I think it shows that he, he's in it for the people and that's why he wants to continue. So this guy seems like he's really doing it for the people. By the way, isn't that breeze nice? Do you feel the breeze? Because I don't want anybody going on me. We need every voter. I don't care about you. I just want your vote. I don't care. See, now the, the press will take that and they'll say he said a horrible thing. He just said it himself. He doesn't care about his supporters. He just wants your vote. He treats his supporters like children. I tell you what, if any auto worker, United Auto Worker or other, if any auto worker voted against Trump, they are, they are not the smartest people. And yet his supporters are still none the wiser. God is trying to help America and the man for the mission is Trump. So we need to follow Trump. Uh, but what if Trump were to lose? What would that mean that, 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 that didn't work out? Or what would it mean for the country? Well, God has his plan. And God knows everything. If, if that happens, uh, it means suffering for the people. And I don't think uh, God wants that at this point in time. I think that uh, most of America is a faithful uh, people. America is actually following Christ more than we think. And I think that God knows this. There's a lot to unpack here. Let's go to the first guy who was saying Trump doesn't need to run. He's not doing it for the money. He's not doing it for the power. He's just this uh, magnanimous, altruistic guy who's doing it for the people. Uh, what that guy lacked uh, in understanding was that Trump is running to stay out of jail because Trump broke the law in trying to overthrow a democratically elected president in 2020. He knew he lost. He tried many legal ways to fight it. He lost in court over and over again. And then they came up with this plan to basically overthrow democracy and have a dictatorship, and it failed. And that's the insurrection, and that's what Jack Smith is going after him in uh, the federal court and that's what the Supreme Court is uh, slowing down right now because we have a conservative Supreme Court that is slowing down this process. However, if Trump were to lose the election this year, then the court proceedings could proceed. And that's not the only thing he's got going against him. He's also got the uh, classified documents case and he's already been found guilty in the New York case. So there's many cases, including also the Georgia case. So there's cases against him. So going back to that first guy who said Trump is just a magnanimous guy who's really doing all of this because he cares for the people. Uh, I call baloney. He's doing it to stay out of jail. And by the way, uh, he says that Trump is rich. He doesn't need the money. Then why does Trump keep asking for money and spending that money on his legal costs? So these people, unfortunately, don't go past what they hear. When Trump says, I'm doing it for you, Trump keeps saying in these rallies, they're coming after me, which means they're coming after you. No one's going after these people. Who's going? If you're not committing a crime, no one's coming after you. That first guy that we saw in the first clip, I don't think, maybe he's committed a crime. I don't know. But until he, you know, uh, shoplifts or does something, no one's coming after you. Just don't commit a crime. No, they're going after Trump because Trump committed crimes. And then these guys listen to Trump and all the, all the whataboutisms and, oh, Joe Biden's doing something. Joe Biden had classified documents. The FBI asked for it. He returned it. Mike Pence had classified documents. The FBI asked for it. They returned it. Donald Trump uh, obstructed justice in the process. So that's just one of the things that's against him. So that's the first guy that we saw saying that Trump is running because he's altruistic. Um, but that's not why he's running. Number number two, we saw the clip of Trump in the heat going, oh my God, feel that breeze. And then he goes, I don't care about you guys. You know, I just want your vote. And then he goes, oh, the media is going to make a big deal out of it. Unfortunately, the truth comes out when Trump rambles. And the truth is he does not care about these people. The truth is Trump is basically what these people claim to not like, which is an elite uh, coast coastal elite. 
Trump his whole life has been running around in these circles, including with the Jeffrey Epsteins, but also before that with the Clintons and with other people that he liked uh, before he decided to then take advantage of these people on the far right and say, I'm here for you. And of course, they are embracing him. Um, but uh, uh, the truth is that he didn't care for these people. If you asked him to sit down with some of these people and actually have dinner, he probably wouldn't want to touch them. He's probably a germaphobe that wouldn't even want to touch them. So the fact is, somehow he's convinced these people that he cares for them when he doesn't. The tax breaks did not benefit these people, all right? Or even the far right. Actually, the, the, the right, the conservatives, have convinced a lot of people in the lower income brackets that they care for them when they really don't. If you look at the Affordable Care Act, which God forbid we call it the Obamacare, Obamacare, that helped a lot of these people that are going to these Trump rallies who don't have money, who needed insurance, but somehow the right, rich conservatives convinced these people that Obamacare and the Affordable Care Act was bad for them. Similarly, um, you look at uh, the tax breaks, which were best for the rich. These people were convinced that it was going to be good for them. So no, Trump and the people on the far right do not care about their constituents, the way their constituents have become led to believe that they care for them. Now, how does this all wrap up into one? It all wraps up into one with that last guy that we saw who just kept quoting God, 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 God has plans, God has plans. So here's the problem. When you have followers that believe that somehow God sent you and they sent this guy who's a cheating, um, lying, stealing, narcissistic, manipulating human being who's just a bad human being but they they're so set on the fact that this guy played ball with them and for example helped get roe versus wade overturned by installing the supreme court justices that are there now so these guys go well he's doing what we want him to do and that all leads to project 2025 which i want all of you guys as soon as you finish watching this Go, to, go, go online and put Project 2025 and read it. Or look at um, uh, John Oliver's analysis of it on uh, his show last week on Project 2025. He'll run you down what they have planned. What they have is they have all these ultra-conservatives, these, these far-right conservatives who basically want to have the Christian Republic of America. They've already taken a woman's right away to choose. They want to take away the rights of uh, gay marriage. They want to take away the rights further rights of immigrants. They want to take away the rights of any religious minority. And what they want to do is they want to install, they want to install cronies into the federal government so that Donald Trump, once he becomes president, can do whatever he wants and pass whatever laws he wants. So for example, they want to go after anything that's any regulations on climate change. Because again, these organizations that have created Project 2025 are run or funded by rich people who don't want any kind of regulations because they want to keep making money and keep polluting the air because they want to just have more and more billions before they die. They don't care about you. They don't care about their constituents. They just want to keep making money and capitalizing on deregulation. So they want to install a bunch of people in the federal government and and, and just do whatever they want. They want to run amok with whatever they want. If there's protests of any kind, if there's something that happens, let's say you're the United Auto Workers and you're protesting because you are a union and you want an increased pay, well, by, by doing what they're doing under the Trump administration, the next Trump administration, Trump will have so much power that he can just send the military in and like he wanted to during Black Lives Matter, perhaps shoot at the protesters. If you don't believe me, Google it. Trump had told... Uh, one of the people working for him that he asked him, he goes, can't we just shoot these guys in the knees? Can't we just, uh, this is during the Black Lives Matter protest. So all of this to say that this is a lot more insidious and vicious than you would think. Trump's a goofball. He's a clown. But Project 2025 is a serious attempt to take America into the handmaid's tale. So check it out. Make sure you register to vote. All these other people, all these constituents you see at these rallies who are saying stupid stuff, it's funny, it's silly, it's stupid. But guys, this is serious. This is, uh, after this election, it's real that we could end up in a, in a situation where the president has so much power 
and he's got all these far right people behind him that want to implement these policies, your rights will be taken away. The rights of your loved ones will be taken away. This will, the, the system will get a lot worse. They want to deport. He said, he goes, on the first day, I'm going to go deport 11 million people. Do you know the process that would take? You would have military stops all around the country where people would say, oh, you look brown, pull over. Are you undocumented? Let me see your papers. We start living in a dictatorial state. And by the way, if 11 million immigrants were deported, Who's going to pick your strawberries? Don't you think the costs of groceries are going to go up? People, think, think. This is a, a money grab by more rich people funding Project 2025. I want you to Google it. I want you to read it. And I want you to know that Donald Trump, in this case, is more insidious than before. So I'm not saying that Biden doesn't have his own issues and his own problems. He does. But you need to... Check out what Trump and his cronies want to do and vote. Vote and don't let them win. And they should get clobbered, really, because if it's close, they're going to do the same thing they did last time. They're not going to, they're not going to admit that they lost. So please, if you like democracy, go and vote. Listen, guys, on a brighter note, my name is Maz Jobrani. I have a stand-up comedy special on YouTube. It's called The Birds and the Bees. I want you to check it out. If you like it, Leave a super thanks or tell a friend. If you don't like it, keep it to yourselves.